everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and today I'm going to be doing the end of year journal tag for 2018. First off, I want to apologise for the massive break I had. Um, I hardly posted anything on my Instagram page um, all month really. I only made a few, I only made like my first post um, the other day, I think. And on my YouTube channel, I haven't posted anything all year. And the reason for that is because I haven't had felt like any... That did not make sense. <laughs> I haven't felt any motivation um, within the past month or so. Um, if you follow my Instagram page um, and you've read some of my posts, you would understand why. Just some things have been happening that I just needed to kind of resettle my life kind of thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm back now. 2019 and um yeah I apologize for actually doing this video so late <laughs> um it's well into the new year it's the 25th today so the day before Australia Day um so yeah I'm gonna film this edit it as soon as I can um and yeah we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna start off um by saying that the original tag was done by Melly Rose and I'll put her um, quite I'll put the questions in the description just in case if you wanted to do this tag yourself and let's just get started with the first question so the first question is to introduce your current journal and to make this fair I'm going to show you the journal that I used throughout um, the new year and that was the um, Peter Paul Repress Persian Mo um, Mosaic Journal and I finished this on the 23rd of January and I f so, oh yeah, started on 14th of November, finished it 23rd of January so I did finish it um, if I was to film this like early in January then it would have been this journal so just making this fair um, yeah so I did finish it and it took me about two months to finish it um, and mainly that was due to only writing just like one page or a couple of lines per entry um, like I was saying earlier, um, stuff going on which kind of felt me unmotivated to write but I did manage to do a little bit but I was able to finish it which was good. So I'll actually show my current journal and that is this journal I got from Bookface and this is a journal by the School of Life. So you've got embossed down there. There's a hair on it. Lovely. <laughs> and it's 192 pages and it's ruled as well. And I like how they've put it on the spine, not on like the back cover or something. That's a bit different. And we've got inner voices embossed on the front as well. And it's this fabric cover journal. And I think it's cotton or something. It's like, it's like woven fabric. And today I had actually covered the uh, edges of the paper with washi tape. Which looks amazing. I've never done it before and I've seen a few YouTubers that have done that. Um, I've done one entry. I used, I started on this uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, so I'll just quickly flip through the different tapes that there are. I did use two fabric tapes, which is this one and another one, which was this one as well. I used some glitter washi tapes. I used those towards the end. These don't actually stick too well, um, which is why I didn't want to use them at the start, but I was kind of running out, so I needed to go to um, my different options so yeah and at the start you can kind of see like the nicer looking tapes because I tend to start with the nice stuff first um, but yeah I really like this one the pattern for that one looks nice and yeah so that's that and because of it it's kind of gotten a bit thick which was bound to happen anyway with this journal because you know me with my journals they always end up being thick <laughs> so yeah um so this is my current journal and that was the current journal for the new year well yeah anyway next question so the second question is journals completed in 2018 so i've got my journals stacked up on top of each other in the order that they were completed in and i'll just uh, slide them over without making them fall <laughs> <clears throat> so, I'm going to start with the top one here, which is the first one I finished. And this was the um, second Peter Pauper Press journal I'd used. And this was the, um, what was it, Celestial journal. And 
and I used that from uh, 18th of December to 31st of January. So it took me about just over a month to complete. And I remember I had brought this on a holiday with me when I, when I went to Sydney around this time last year. So um, it's got nice um, memories that I was like slowly thinking, flicking through. And yeah, I was like to show you this page because, you know, just some church, oh not church, um, Bible quotes and then lyrics from Five Finger Death Punch, Wrong Side of Heaven, because I had a little obsession with them in that song back in the day. Um, yeah. I hope you do a flick through of one of the of this journal because it actually has some good stuff that um I would actually like to show. So um Yeah. Anyway. Next one is this monster. <laughs> so I used this from the first of February to the twenty second of April. So that was February, March, April, about two months worth of stuff in here. Well, actually three months if you count February. So February, March and April, yeah. Three months of writing in here. And this was turned out to be huge. And the way the thing I like about this is that it doesn't um when you close it, it doesn't oh, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't open up, it just stays shut. Like it doesn't it's it's a good one. It's a good journal that does not open when it's closed, if that makes sense. I don't know. I, I know what I want to say, it's just it's just not coming out of my mouth and my brain is just not working properly, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I got this from a news agency in the place, well at the place I live. And I wish I could find again that, I wish I could find these again. Because they aren't, they don't sell them anymore. I haven't asked if they stock them or anything like that and... It sucks because I think this had 300 pages. I remember posting it on my Instagram how many pages was in it. I'm just going to quickly look. Um, uh, how many pages? 300, yeah, 300 plus pages. Um, I have a feeling it was like two, 200 something, but it can't be 200 because it was like thick when I bought it. Like that, and that's not 200 pages, that's like 300. But anyway, so this is the second one I completed, and um, I'm just trying to find something to show. Um, oh, <laughs> I just found a drawing I did. So that was a really scary time. I was at um, my boyfriend's place at the time, and this was me, and I was standing in the bathroom mirror, and this black thing just... It looks like a shadow behind me, and I got so scared. And we're about, and me, I was about to leave my boyfriend's house. who was driving me home, and I literally like was so scared. And on the car, in the car ride home, I told him what happened. And anyway, yeah, even drawing it, I remember drawing it just made it just so, 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 so scary. But anyway, next one is this one that only took less. Oh, uh, just. Literally one day, one day more than a month to do it. So I use this on the 23rd of April to the 24th of May, and it was a pretty thin journal. It was, um, I think like I don't know how many pages was in it. It's not saying on the back, so I'm going to guess like a hundred something, 160. I don't know. I don't. I I got no clue. <laughs> so yeah, it was very quick for me to finish. I got this from Spotlight, and the paper that was in it, it was recycled paper, so it kind of looked um, pretty cool. I won't show a lot of this, because it was actually kind of, um, I can show this page. Um, you can kind of see how the paper was a bit darker and had more, like, a bit grainier, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, we learned about binary, bin, binary? Binary. That's not how it was meant to be spelled, but it's a code, and it was in science class. I think I spelt it wrong. That's why I can't pronounce it, and I forgot what it was called. I don't know. Binary code. I don't know. <laughs> yes, that was the third one I finished this year, and then this one was my second uh, Lorcham journal that I used, and this one had um. 192 pages, I think. Actually, it would say because 
Live stream journals, they they show how many pages is in it. I think this is actually knotted. <laughs> I can't open it and see. Um, wait, I might be able to. Okay, got it. Oh no, 252. By the looks of it. 251. Yeah, 252. Just show it down there. Yeah, so 251 pages. Don't know if you can see that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, this took me from the 25th of May to the 2nd of September to finish. So that was May, June, July, August, September. Four months. Okay, now this, okay. I thought it was this one that took me forever to finish. It was actually this one. I don't know why it took me so long to finish. Um, I can't remember. That was the fourth journal I finished uh, in 2018. Then the fifth one, it doesn't have a date on it because my label maker, one, I couldn't find it, two, the paper stuff wouldn't have stuck onto it, so it's not on there, but I will do something with that soon. And I used this from the 3rd of September, then finished it on, um, I'll find out, 3rd of September, it was in November, 13th to the 13th of November. So the paper that I was used in it was kind of like water paper quality kind of thing. And I was using watercolours throughout the journal, except I think I stopped towards the end. Yeah, I did. I think it was like, uh, oh, just after halfway, I stopped. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that was the fifth journal I finished this year. I kind of thought I would finish more, but I think because I spent so many time on this one, I think it's what um, put me back a bit. But anyway, up to the third question now. So the third question is, uh, favourite two journals completed in 2018? And that definitely would hands down be the, this one. I'm just trying to think of the second one. Um, uh, I think this one. The fifth journal I finished. So, firstly, this one would be one of my favourites completed in 2018, and that's just mainly because of how thick it is. I love thick journals, and this is just on point. <laughs> and, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, I also had put washi tape on the sides of the actual page itself, not on the edge of the paper, like inside, if you want, like inside, the, um, I put it inside the paper like that. But for but the, my current journal at the moment, I have it like actually like wedged in between the edges of each page. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's the reason why this is my favorite. So this one is my second favorite journal completed in 2018, is because I think it's pretty. It looks nice. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if I mentioned, but this is from Bookface, and this is a canvas uh, covered journal. It's handmade, and it cost me a lot of money, <laughs> but it was actually gorgeous and it, I, I still love it and I really hope to get uh, another one like this but just a different design uh, I love the paper in it because of the watercolor paper it handled watercolors pretty well and yeah fourth question is blank journals you are excited to fill out in 2019 so first off the journal that I am excited to fill out in 2019 is definitely my current one and I think I'm really excited to, uh, to complete it just because of the washi tape. <laughs> um, when I decorate something it gives me kind of more motivation to complete it and definitely doing this has really helped me like I really want to write in it like ASAP so uh, that's one of them and I have a small stack under my bed I'm just going to grab them out and it's these ones. So I bought all these last year and this was a typo A5 Buffalo journal so I bought this little sticker, which is my first initial, um, and I love the cover of this, and I have another one in here that I'll show you soon. So this is what I would like to complete as well. And this one is a gorgeous Peter Pauper Press, and this one is the Moonlit Aspen's Journal, and it has uh, 160 line pages, and I was in uh, Bookface a while back, and I saw... Um, some new stock that they had of Peter Popper Press and I absolutely went insane, put them on lay-by and paid them off. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this one. 
And a second Peter Pauper Press, which was in the same lay-by as this one as well. And this one is the Gilded Rosettes Journal. I had 60, 160 line pages as well. Um, and this one is just slightly bigger than this one. It's like the height is a bit... It's slightly different. Same as the width, but I'm not really too bothered by that. And the second typo one I have is this one. And this is the blue marble cover. I think this one is called... Uh, Aqua Polka Dot. But yeah, this is a marble cover, and it's got a gold uh, embossing kind of thing going through it. I didn't know whether to put the H on this one or that one. I think this one was better just because it's a bit more plain and it stands out a bit. If I put it on this, it will be a bit more busy because it got the decoration around here as well and across the diagonals of the cover. Uh, these are all these are both line pages as well as it says on the uh, sticker. Um, same with that. It's nothing too fancy, really. <laughs> And this is another one that I have, it's just a typo as well. Really going out with the typo this year. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this is a soft buffalo journal. And I bought this in uh, Sydney in a typo store back in August when I went to a university open day. Um, excited to use this. Uh, I don't know if I used, I don't think I've had, I don't think I've used a soft buffalo. Uh, Buffalo Journal before, so I'd be interested to kind of see how that will go, just because of the spine, how much of, like flexibility it has, because it feels pretty tough. Uh, so yeah, that's my journal lineup for 2019. And uh, the fifth question is the journal that will welcome the new year in 2019. <laughs> well, that one isn't too hard because it's my current journal. Whoa! <laughs> so yeah, well, definitely welcome this in 2019. And oh, also my old current journal, the Peter Pauper Press one. That's that one. That one would have welcomed 2019, but um, yeah, this one's welcoming 2019 too. <laughs> so number six is, are you happy with your 2018 journaling adventure? Um, yes and no. Um, I'm kind of like a bit sad that I didn't complete more than I thought I would. Um, I think, yeah, I wish I could have finished more, but I think because I spent so much time on this, like I said earlier, that's the reason why I didn't complete a lot of journals compared to last year. I think I did eight, eight last year, I think, eight or six, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it was eight, but yeah, um, I'm happy, kind of, <laughs> I'm happy I finished this one. Uh, just because of how thick it had gotten. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Yes, I'm happy that I've finished them. Like, it's the accomplishment feeling that I've got is that I finished them. Uh, I'm just not happy with how many I'd actually completed. I wish I would, had completed more. Um, I also wish I had decorated a bit more. I kind of lacked on that a bit. I only did, like, little simple things with watercolours and all that. Like, just splattered them on the page. OSHA kind of did more of that. Um, same as washi tape. I used a bit of washi tape on a few pages, but that was really it. Nothing too extravagant. <laughs> so, last question is number seven. What's your journaling goal for 2019? Do more art in your journal, write more, fill out more journals, decorate more, decorate less, or write more? So, I actually wish I could... I think like those would pretty much be all my goals. Um, I wish to do more art in my journals. I want to be more creative this year with the watercolours and maybe bring in my acrylics again. I have a box of um, 36 dimension acrylic paints that I remember watering them down and using them as like watercolours, except they weren't watercolours, they were acrylics, but you know, watered down, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so definitely also to write more. Um, that one's a bit hard though because I needed to be motivated and wanting to write just because last year I had gone through all that stuff and it just made me write less because I was just more focused on other things that were going on. Um, definitely fill out more journals. I really hope to finish more than five. If I finish uh, this six, 
in this stack. So, um, actually, if I completed all this, I would complete seven altogether because of the Peter Pauper Press one that I'd done. So, yeah, I hope to finish all these. And then, let's uh, decorate more. Yeah, decorate more. Um, yeah, so bring in lots of more um, uh, things other than washi tape. So, like little stickers or... Um, I actually have a stack of um, these things. Let's show. I have these little flowers that I've got. And they've stayed in these for like god knows how long. So I really want to bring out these again. Um, but the thing is they stay under my bed where my journals are. So uh, laziness getting out of my chair to get them. It's um, pretty bad laziness. But yeah, I also have these journaling cards I haven't used in ages. I got these in the reject shop and they had different designs and different themes. Uh, so... I'm going to try and use those again. I got these journaling tags from an op shop uh, last year as well. I should know, two years ago? Last year or two years ago? I don't know. I got these cardboard cutouts. Uh, die cuts is what they're called. So I want to use some of these again. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment anything you like to see from me. And also... Follow my Instagram page, which is at the journaling addict. I'll put that in the description, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.